Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to this video. Um, we're gonna do the uh, the domain and I mean in range of uh, actually it is the sine to the power of two of x because we've already had a sine of x in the previous video and we said that is a uh, domain uh, the domain was r means all real numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity and its uh, range was uh, minus one i mean still is minus one to one this is this value here from one i mean on the x on the y value now what we're looking for I, I i took the sign here i mean just to to compare you know and to, to make a let uh, just like to to let it clear what why we're doing sign to the power two you know just like because uh, we haven't signed and we're gonna you know like uh, you know derivate the sign to the power two from the sign you know like a comparative you know exercise that's why I took a uh, sign right here actually we don't we do need to have sign right here but it's gonna help us to understand quick and better what we've been doing actually our function g of x could also be written like this we have in sign to the power 2 of x can also be written sign you know and into parentheses to the, to the power of 2 and this really represents it means that we are we actually have two sine functions time sine of x okay this is what we have and remember we in, in a sine function we have we have a sign positive because this is about a sign positive you have the sign positive one sign positive i mean this is the positive side of the sign this is a negative side of the sign we have one sign positive and one sign negative in one period one period is from zero to two pi when you go you know make a turn make a you know a complete run about the, uh, the, the unit circle and come back to to zero here so you've made a, a two pi you know radian circle and this is one period that time this is one period until here here but it's saying now that in one period we should be having two sign it means that we know i mean two sign positive right it means that we'll be having one sign positive i mean we had one sign positive also only in a fair of x now we'll be having two sign positive one sign positive and then two side positive until we get to the uh, to the, uh, the term of our period okay so that was a mean it means that we will have something like this we will have i mean it's still going here of course we come here this is starting at the first period here go in there describing another period here, and then make another another uh, uh cone here of course of sine so we need two sine in it into here and that's how the function is going to go so we'll be having something like this that will be going again there and going into there not that good but okay that way okay okay and then going on here and then continue here right here just make something like this okay and then like that and continue right there so the thing is uh it's not that really beautiful that it should be but the thing is we are what we're doing here is like we, we're talking about one period we're going from here onto there and so we need to have two sign of x in it so we have it once and twice in one period that's what i mean and if we describe another period we'll still do the same thing of course, that's going to be the same thing here. We go here, just like doing here. The negative side of the sign of the, uh, the the cosine, but it's still the positive sign of the sign. So it's going to be going down here. Okay, and then continue describing another another sign in one period. So that's what I mean here. That our function is describing two sine cones of sine in one period. So that's what we have here. So definitely, we will have our domain 
of course equals to R that's not a problem this is uh, minus infinity into plus infinity and our range now is going to be a little bit different okay we had in the range of sign we had from minus 1 to 1 but now if you can take a look here you see that the function is only running in between minus a 0 and, and 1 okay you, you, you don't have any function because any negative value that you take here is going to be positive at that time I mean, that's why that's what I mean so we're having two sine cones you know described in one here and that will be here our function described in between 0 and 1 that'll be here 0 and 1 and that's the uh, the range of the function sine of sine to the power of x uh, can also be written like you say um, you're gonna put like uh, the sine to the power 2 of x okay is less than less equal to 0 and this is less equal to 1 or you can start by 0 here of course makes sense okay and 1 on this side Okay, to conclude here, I would say that um, to, to, to draw out this function here, sine to the power of 2 of x, we just need to describe two sine positive in one period. Okay, it means that we, we had the, 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 the f function, which has, I mean, the sine of x, which has one sine positive in, in one period, and we taking the to the power of 2 now means that we were having two signs positive in one field. That's just what it's all about. So thank you for watching again, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.